It's again Medical Monday, and we're continuing our conversation surrounding cancer with the doctors at Moffitt Cancer Center. And today we are happy to welcome Dr. Elio Mansour, assistant member of the Department of Endocrine Oncology. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me today. Well, let's dive right in and, and talk about what people need to know. Um, first off, let's talk about thyroid nodules different than thyroid cancer, cause thyroid cancer? Like what's the relationship between the two of these things that perhaps we've heard of? That's a great question. So thyroid nodules are lumps or growths that occur within the thyroid, which is a butterfly shaped gland that sits at the base of the neck. They're fairly common, up to 50 to 80% of Americans will have a thyroid nodule in their lifetime. And these could be benign or malignant. The overwhelming majority are benign. Thyroid cancer specifically refers to malignant thyroid nodules, which have the potential to spread to nearby lymph nodes or other sites in the body. And so it's kind of, you know, I'm thinking of the other cancers we know of, you know, like even breast cancer, you know, it can be, can go either way. Um, are there warning signs perhaps that can kind of tip someone off if there is a nodule and they don't know it and it could be malignant? That's a great question. So some people may experience some hoarseness or changes in their voice, a lump or swelling in the neck, a difficulty with swallowing or pain with swallowing, and sometimes shortness of breath. Okay, so again, everything's kind of directed right here. Um, can you share with us, though, the treatment? That's what I love about being able to talk with Moffitt can Cancer Centers, just how you're able to help people. You get the diagnosis, you're working with patients, what kind of treatments are out there? So treatments for thyroid cancer will vary from person to person based on several factors. That includes the type of thyroid cancer, the extent of their disease, age, personal preferences, and their overall health. However, one may generally get thyroid surgery, that's the most common type of treatment, okay. where either part of the thyroid gland or the whole thyroid gland is removed. Other treatment options include radioactive iodine therapy, radiation therapy, systemic therapy, such as chemotherapy or immunotherapy, and thyroid hormone therapy. At Moffitt, we work in a multidisciplinary setting, mm -hmm. and we integrate the expertise of other specialists, surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, and this ensures we're providing comprehensive and coordinated cancer care, and this ultimately optimizes patient outcomes. I like that coordinated care. I was kind of, when you were saying all those departments, I was thinking it's truly a team yes. when you are a patient at Moffitt Cancer Center. Well, let's go ahead and talk about how someone can schedule an appointment because I know there people want to make sure to address the misconception. You do not need a referral to be able to contact Moffitt Cancer Center, correct? You're exactly correct. So no referral is needed. They could either call our um, number or visit www.moffitt.org. There you go. Or even check out moffitt.org slash outcomes for even more information. Information. Thank you for being here, Dr. Mansour. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me.